Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars, back in the paint booth, thanks for watching. So this is the um, second part about the modern paint series that we're doing, and today we're going to talk a little bit about something called Deltron 2000 DBC 500. And it is really cool because you can mix any of the um, aniline dyes into this stuff that you would mix into clear lacquer. Well, what's the big deal about that? So anytime you're gonna do a sunburst or anytime you're going to use a transparent color, you wanna use the DBC 500 if you're using the modern paint method that we've been talking about. Um, let's talk a little bit about why you would want to use dye and DBC 500 rather than just stain the guitar. For one thing, um, Sometimes when you put stain or dye directly onto the instrument, it can be blotchy. So what we've done already is we've sealed the instruments, and now we're going to make the colors look uniform um, and still be able to see the wood by using aniline dye mixed in DBC 500. And when you're mixing up your DBC 500 and your dye, you have to remember to mix in some reducer because the paint's a little too thick to use. So it um, says right on the can, one to one, so DBC 500, one to reducer, one, and you can get whatever speed reducer you want. So in this case, we're using medium reducer. They have fast reducer, slow reducer, extra fast, extra slow, extra medium. I don't think they have that. Um, so that's an important bit to remember. And um, so this DBC 500 actually goes a long way. Um, so that's good because they're not giving this stuff out. So let's go out in the booth and check it out. So this is a mahogany back with a maple neck. But what we've been able to do is we just shot the DBC 500 on the back mixed with translucent dye to get the color that we wanted. And as you can see, we were able to get a really nice, even color on this guitar that you could never get with stain alone. So that's one of the reasons that we use uh, tinted uh, clear coat in the case of what we did this weekend was DBC 500. You could use it with lacquer if you were into lacquer. And uh, you'll get that nice, even, consistent color. Okay, so what if you don't want a sunburst? What if you want metallic P? You didn't order the metallic P? I ordered an anarchic white. <laughs> Blue. Fuck. <laughs> Start over. Start over. Let's try. <laughs> we're gonna move. We're gonna keep moving. So, uh, one of the nice things about using modern paint is that you can get there is a dizzying array of colors that are available, and um, uh, as opposed to lacquer, where if you want black metallic, there's like one. If you want gold top gold, there's one. If you go to uh, your local, that's my phone, not your phone. If we go to, if you go to your local finish master, they will be um, more than happy to put in front of you a gigantic color book with one color in it and you have to make a choice. Anyway, so um, what we're using today for the color coat is Deltron paint, just like the DBC 500. Um, if you decide you wanted something that is the less expensive version, you can get the Omni brand, which is the, you know, like production coat. But if you're only buying a little bit, sometimes the, um, it's actually a little bit less expensive to just get the, uh, the Deltron brand, which is the, the top of the line from PPG. So, um, this is, this is called Cosmic Green Metallic or metallic P, and we are going to mix that with our medium reducer, and we're going to spray it onto a guitar. So let's, we're gonna mix it up one to one, put it in the gun and shoot it. Let's go check that out. We're probably gonna have to do about two or three coats. <laughs> Hands with the demon. My tongue. 
tongue was all hairy And my brain was on fire I don't know what I've done last night But I couldn't have been any higher Okay, finally, look, I pulled, the, I pulled the tape off the fretboard. Finally, we got this one here, which is, uh, again, our classic Challenger shape. Um, this one has a, uh, an acoustic top, and it's super, super light. But what's really cool about this is the family truckster finish <clears throat> on the back. So it is finished in metallic mint green, which we call metallic P because we think Clark Griswold is hilarious. And it is bound and uh, has the spruce top. <laughs> okay, I wanna head off a couple of questions at the pass. One is, how much paint is it gonna take to spray my guitar? Um, we went and bought this stuff. This is a pint. And um, we bought a quarter of a pint. And that's enough to do about two guitars. The whole thing, neck and everything. If you're just doing a body, you probably got enough to do three. Um, the, uh, the green, the, the whatever this cosmic mint green metallic P, um, we bought a quarter of it, a quarter of a pint, and we've got enough to do two guitars at least. Um, I think it was $20. The, uh, but that's the, that's the Deltron stuff. It's going to be a little more money. The uh, Omni might be, you know, two or three bucks less. This actually is a half of a pint, and um, it's something that's, I guess somebody didn't want. So we went and we bought all the, the like stuff that people didn't want to buy or was the wrong color. They looked at it and they're like, oh, it's actually a little darker than the chip. Um, it's the right color, so it's got what it is on the inside here. But um, these were these were five dollars, four ninety nine. We bought like three or four of them. They're all pretty cool. Um, we're gonna shoot this one next. How much, uh, you know, the paint cost is going to vary on where you, uh, you know, what it's like in your area. But if you go to your PPG paint dealer, like we go to a place called Finish Master, um, they'll be able to help you out with everything you need. So um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Um, we'll probably go do a, uh, like a, a follow-up video because I know there's going to be stuff I forgot. And you guys are going to ask, ask some questions. We'll do another video. Um, so if you like content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. If you like the video, do the thumbs up. This is Matt at Texas Toast Guitars reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody.